What's going on guys, it's High. and over the past year I've been using these Vector Thunderbird Butane Lighter inserts for my Zippos, but when I saw that Zippo themselves were producing such a product, I had to pick one up and see if it's any better. If you're unfamiliar with this type of product, it is essentially a replacement insert for a Zippo. You may be asking why you would need a replacement insert when the lighter comes with a perfectly functioning one. Well, although the original insert works perfectly fine, it isn't exactly the most efficient design. The problem with the original insert is that it is not sealed. So once you fill it up with fuel, whether you use the lighter or not, the fuel will begin to evaporate. This is where the butane insert comes into play. It provides a sealed fuel container. Whereas the original insert may allow for a few weeks of fuel storage, the butane insert will allow for months worth of storage. Now for a heavy smoker who uses the lighter all the time, this will only be slightly beneficial as it will only give a slight bump in fuel life. But for someone like me who uses a lighter far in between, the butane insert is a huge game changer. As you can see, I have a small collection of Thunderbird lighter inserts, and this is because the company actually makes a few different versions with different flames. I've already made a few written reviews of these inserts on my website, so I'll link it down in the description below for those who are interested. Zippo currently produces three different inserts, a single torch, a double torch, and one with a plasma arc beam. For this comparison, I decided to pick up the double torch because that happens to be my favorite flame design. Between the single and double torch, they are largely going to be the same, except of course, one produces two flame torches while the other only produces one. Besides that, the single torch would use less fuel because it's powering and outputting less. So if fuel economy is something that you're concerned about, look towards the single torch. The arc lighter is something completely different, and we won't be getting into that in this comparison. So let's get into it, Zippo vs Thunderbird Double Torch Butane Lighter Insert Comparison. In terms of design, the two are pretty similar from the chimney up. Both feature a cam to keep the lid open and closed when they are supposed to be. Both feature a chimney with the classic Zippo 323 holes. And both have an angled button with a couple of ridges that activate the piezo ignition. The main difference is going to be from the chimney down, where the fuel housing is. Right off the bat you can see that Zippo went with an all metal design whereas the Thunderbird uses a plastic container. Both do the job, but I prefer the fit and finish of the Zippo. Another difference is going to be at the bottom of the inserts. On both, we have a fuel refill spot and a flame height adjuster. As you can see, the two companies went with different approaches for the flame height adjuster. With the Zippo, Zippo recommends that you use a paper clip or a dime to adjust the screw. It's held pretty tightly in place, so you'll likely not be able to adjust it with a fingernail. This design is definitely not as easy as the Thunderbird's flame height adjuster because with that you can adjust it with your fingernail. Luckily this is likely to be a one time adjustment. For me once I found the flame height that I liked, I never changed it. Now let's talk about fitment. Both inserts are meant to be used in the classic Zippo cases and as you can see, both will fit just fine. However there is one big difference. If we look at the insert design again, we will see that on the lower edge of the Zippo is a ridge on either side. This is used to give the insert a better fit in the case and not allow it to move around as much. This little inclusion does make a difference. Through my use of the Thunderbird insert, I found that after opening and closing the lid a few times, the insert will start to move around. This is not a problem with the Zippo insert and it is thanks to those ridges. The movement of the Thunderbird insert is one of those minor things that you learn to live with, but when there's something with a better design, it's hard to ignore. In terms of actual use, I really see no difference between the two. Both inserts are extremely reliable and do what they're supposed to. I haven't had the Zippo for very long, so I can't speak for its long-term reliability, but the Thunderbird is holding up just fine after a year. As of right now, I think both of these lighter inserts are great products. I can give either a recommendation, but at the end of the day, and if I could only buy one, which would I personally choose? For me, it's a no-brainer. I would buy the Zippo version. First off, I'm a total Zippo fanboy. Growing up, my dad was a smoker and he used Zippo lighters. In fact, this was his lighter. The only time that I ever use a lighter is when I light incense at my dad's grave, and when I do, I only use his lighter. For me, buying the Zippo insert just makes sense because it keeps it all in the family. Zippo case with a Zippo insert. It's as simple as that. Now, if I were an unbiased shopper, I would still buy the Zippo. Firstly, I like the general build quality of the Zippo more than the Thunderbird. The all metal casing just gives a greater perception of quality. Who knows, the plastic fuel assembly may be a better design, but the metal case sure looks and feels better in my opinion. Secondly, I would buy the Zippo because it's cheaper. The Thunderbird insert range in price depending on which you buy, but currently, this double torch insert costs about $20, while the Zippo costs a few cents over $12. With this in mind, it's really hard for me to buy the Thunderbird over the Zippo. 
However, there are a few things about the Thunderbird line that may appeal to buyers. First is the wide variety of flame options that Thunderbird offers. If a torch flame is not your thing, then Thunderbird will likely have something else that you'll enjoy. Again with Zeppo, it's currently single torch, double torch, or arc. That's it. Another appealing thing with the Thunderbird is the limited lifetime warranty. Zippo on the other hand only offers a limited 2 year warranty. You have to remember, this is a lighter. It will eventually fail. I haven't had to use it, but the lifetime warranty does instill greater peace of mind. And there you have it, butane lighter inserts from both Zippo and Vector Thunderbird. What do you think? Have you had any experience with these products? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like and share it around. Subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.